Hi Jenny, this week we are talking about FGV, right? A lot of people, whenever we mention about FGV, uh, we focus on its unresolved issues like uh, the eagle high issues and also like Sofitex and Dilima. Dilima is asking about uh, about 45.2 million from Sofitex. So we recently got the chance to speak to Dato Zakaria and Dato Ashar. So what did they actually talk about, uh, about all these unresolved issues? Um, actually, during the interview, we didn't go into Eagle High because Eagle High is already uh, aborted, the deal has been aborted and it's uh, being uh, undertaken by Lembaga Felda which is a 33% shareholder of FGV. So um, as far as the management of FGV is concerned that it's uh, in the past, as for the Safitex issue, I think uh, that's also being undertaken by an internal investigation and according to uh, what has been announced previously they have decided to uh, bring back the four senior officials, including Dato uh, Zakaria, back into management. So it would seem that those are already being addressed internally. Mm -hmm. So um, I think the, from the interview we gauge that they, are, they want to move on from that. Now, uh, Dato Zakaria, he came back as the CEO in last October, and then Dato Asha was designated as a chairman in September last year, right? So how do you feel, how, how is it like for them to work together? Did they mention anything about it? Yeah, they did say that they, they are very honest with each other and they don't hold things back between each other. And uh, I think uh, for Dato Asha, that's been his, his uh, way of doing things. I think in MRT Corp, he actually, uh, resign when there was an accident and there were some fat fatalities. So he's the sort of guy who seemed to take responsibility and it does appear they work well together and um, uh, are able to communicate well. So we hope that they are able to turn things around mm -hmm. at, at FGV. Are they going to have MNAs in the future? Dato Asha said yes that they are on M&A mode when we ask that question. Uh, however, um, Dato Zakaria also say that, that uh, when we ask for specifics like are they looking for uh, plantations uh, and where are they looking specifically because he did mention before you know they are interested in uh, greenfield, brownfield plantations. He, he said um, he didn't want to give details. They were he said that they are open mm. and they will and if there are opportunities they will consider it. So talking about analysts, whenever people talk about FGV, mostly on negative news, even Dato Asha admitted that. Mm. So uh, what's the plan of them turning around or changing the perception of the company? Dato Asha said that um, they, they he, he made it very clear that a lot of negatives are uh, also, you know, because of the the, the, sh the major shareholder because it's very politicized. Mm -hmm. So um, I think what they want to do is to build the brand of FGV itself. That's what he said. For replanting, what they plan is to replant at least 15,000 hectares a year. Uh, and also they have allocated uh, 300 million for this purpose. That is on the estate side. So one of the most interesting questions that I saw from, from the excerpt, right, is that um, they, are they trying to distance themselves from, from Felda? What, what did they actually explain? What did they say about it? They are trying to change that perception rather than uh, they emphasise that Felda, Lembaga Felda, is a 33% shareholder. So that's, that's that. And of course, they have the CSR the responsibility to, to the settlers. Mm. And Dato Ashad actually said that, uh, yeah, those he is very honoured to be in Fala because of that responsibility. But at the same time, uh, he kept saying that uh, FGV is a public listed company, and his responsibility is to the board and shareholders. So um, he is trying to make those clear and draw the lines. So. Um, so it, it depends whether or not they are able to, to, to change the public's perception of Felda, uh, uh, FGV being so closely linked to uh, Felda. For more on the stories, pick up a copy of The Edge Weekly at all good newsstands.